Hi everyone, welcome to Scrapstone Novice Tutorial. We'll spend a few minutes to show you how to use Scrapstone. First, let's open the software. On the upper left corner is a personal center. Click the upgrade button and you can open the plan introduction page. On the left is a taskbar. The three buttons here are import task button, create button, and view all tasks button. The create button including three sub-menus. And the view all tasks button including two sub-menus. On the right is the main panel. Here you can create a smart mode task for single URL. The two buttons below can be used to create smart mode task and flowchart mode task for multi URLs. For beginners, we recommend you to use smart mode first. In smart mode, it can automatically extract content into fields and detect next page buttons. For better performance, you should feed the task with a list page or a table page. You can click the tutorial link to see the detailed information. Here, we use JoyBuy search result as an example. First, we open JoyBuy and search for iPhone. Next, we copy the URL and paste it into the software and click the Get Started. As mentioned earlier, Scrapstone will automatically extract the content and detect the next page button, and then show the results at the bottom. If we need script the detail page, you can click on the script in button and the software will open the detail page. Similarly, it will automatically extract the content into several fields. If you want to add a field, just click the add field button and select the element you want to extract on the page. If you want to edit the field, you can right click and select edit. When you are done setting up, just click the start button. On the launch window, you can configure this task with a little more options as schedule, IP rotation, automatic export, download files, speed boost, data duplication, and developer settings. We just click start. We can see that the task has started running. You can click the show page button to see what's going on upon the running web page. And you can get more running information through the printed log. The extracted result will show up under the data tab. The task will scrape from the page one to the last page but you can click the stop button to end the task immediately. Then click the export data. Scrapstone supports exporting to files, databases, and websites. We choose the Excel and change the file's name. Click export. Click the view export result button and you can see the exported file. For more tutorials, please refer to the official website tutorial page. If you have any questions, you can click here to send us an email. Thanks for watching.